If you haven't seen the premiere episode of Arc 5 of Trash Talk, I highly recommend it. Because what do we go over? None other than Crash Bash, the first Crash game, and spinoff at that, completely out of Naughty Dog's hands. So because the original creators have nothing to do with this game, you'd think it'd tank, it wouldn't be memorable, it wouldn't have that Crash spirit. But actually, it's a good game. It didn't tank. It is pretty memorable. And it does have some of that Crash essence. Now that's not to say it's perfect, but... It did way better than people thought it would. So what's the story? Aku Aku and Uka Uka are in a dark, mysterious dimension, and they're having an argument. Uka Uka says he can defeat Aku Aku, while Aku says he can't. So, because they can't physically fight each other, even though they did in Crash 3, they decide to get Crash, Coco, Cortex, and several others to duke it out for them. And that's it for the plot. Very simple. So you know what this means. The one thing we're primarily going to go over here is the gameplay. And boy, is it varied. Then again, you'd want a party game to be varied. And much like the previous platforming games, the minigames, or levels for comparison, are different, but are also categorized. There are many minigames of the same genre. Let's look at the minigames introduced in Story Mode's first warp room. We have Crash Ball, where you compete to shoot magnetic balls into everyone else's goals. Polar Panic, where you're all on polar bears and you have to buck everyone else off the slab of ice you're on. Pogo Painter, where you're on pogo sticks and must color tiles on the floor and then break a nearby crate to get the points based off of the number of tiles that are your color, and Jungle Bash, a beat-em-up that has you throwing crates at one another to the last man stands. In later warp rooms, you'll come across even more unique minigame styles, such as tank minigames, racing minigames, and more. Some of the bosses include Papu Papu, a big bad polar bear called the Bearminator, the Komodo Brothers, and Oxide, and so on and so forth. The cool thing about these boss battles is that each one is based off of a particular minigame, Papu being the crate throwing minigames, Berminator being the polar bear minigames, etc. The music and visuals are very similar in style to the Naughty Dog Crash games, but of course there are some differences that start seeping through the longer you take a good look. For example, even though some music tracks are lifted straight from Crash 3, the composer for this game is listed as Steve Duckworth, and he does give this game quite a different feel in terms of the music. But in my opinion, this feel does feel like Crash though. As for the visuals now, when it comes to character models and textures and such, I've seen better. The characters' faces don't even animate. <laughs> look at Tiny! Whoa! Look at that scary, static grin. Kind of a step back, but still okay for a PS1 game nonetheless. Speaking of characters, how are they? They're handled pretty well here, besides what I just said a second ago. On Aku Aku's team, you've got Crash, Coco, Tiny, and Dingo Dial. And on Uku Uka's team, you have Cortex, Brio, Koala Kong, and newcomer Rillaroo. Ah, Rillaroo. Only saw the light of day for one game until he was tossed with all the other baddies who only showed up for three games or less. The characters all feel nice to control, but unlike CTR, no one has any unique stats that make playing as them different from playing as the other characters. Which is fine and makes sense, it would just have been a plus if every character had their own quirks, control-wise. But in most minigames, if not all of them, you can do a taunt unique to every character, which is pretty funny. So overall, for the first Crash game not made by Naughty Dog, it was handled fairly well. There are some things that could have been tweaked or worked on more. I really wish their faces moved because they're freaking me out a little bit, but for what it's worth, this game did alright in my book. If you're searching for a good old school party game that's not Mario Party, look no further. Crash Bash is the game for you. 